Hello everyone and welcome to the very first weapon inspection series where I take a look at different TA Fortress 2 weapons and um, their features and their downfalls. So today I'm looking at the um, main weapon for a heavy weapon sky. It's a minigun and it's called Natasha. You're probably all familiar with it. It has a bad reputation for being a new gun because it is easily acquirable by new players as it is uh, an achievement item like the Huntsman. So the specs of this gun is that it's uh, slow to really use, it means it has the 30% slower spin up time and a 25% damage penalty. Uh, however, once you use it and you hit people, it's going to slow them down and stack it down to 113 hammer units per second, which is about a third of the normal walking speed of uh, the Demon Man. So I like to use this with uh, scouts in particular, using, especially we're using the Babyface Blaster as it will slow them down and make it easier for you to track them and also other players. So this is more like a support weapon, so you should stay with your group and um, shoot people and let others do the damage dealing and you can do the slowing. So it makes, uh, instead of having the heavy as the tank, the main tank of the group, it makes him more of a, of a support character like a sniper, a medic or a spy. It's also good for you using against the charge charge and um, splendid screen demo knights as it's uh, easy to take care of their of the charging because it slows them down in the, in the well it slows them down a lot so they won't be able to get to you once they charge at you. I also like to use this with the rocking jumping and sticky jumping demo men soldiers because it's gonna uh, kick off their like it's gonna disturb their their movement in the air and their air strafing a lot so they won't be able to in their market garden or cable you or get close to you uh, really as you can easily walk around them and also um, one thing that I really like about it is the um, advantage against pyros who especially with the what's it called the phlogisonator as it uh, slows them down once they uh, charge at you with the flames spewing out of them so that's really good as well and also uh, lastly it's good for spies that are cloaked if you track them they will be easier to uh, keep the bullets on their cloak so you can see where they're going and they won't be able to get us away as easily however uh, if you get in a 1v1 against a soldier you know uh, a scout getting a, up close to you or another heavy your your odds are pretty bad because of the low damage dealing and the slow spin up time so that's really where it falls down so that's why you can't really go alone and you have to stay with the team and be very beneficial to the team so for some facts um, this has a base damage of 6.5 per bullet where the default minigun has a 9 damage per bullet and this has a wind up time of 1.16 seconds whereas the minigun has 0 0.8 seconds but really you won't feel that if you uh, do as I do most of the time jump around corners once I'm winding up um, you can probably see that somewhere in the video like there for example jumping around so my the spin of time won't slow my movement that's not really and it's not really too bad unless you meet a heavy on the other side so that's really out of uh, man versus machine. In man versus machine, you will really um, probably like this gun because it's going to slow down, especially the uh, giant scouts, which can't be a pain in the uh, in the ass really. When um, if even though we have a lot of damage dealers, they won't be they will easily get past your defenses. So that's where this comes in really handy, especially in the low levels if your scout doesn't have a mad milk upgraded yet. So here I'm playing a bit of um, King of the Hill Harvest Final as the heavy of obviously with Natasha and with the sandwich and with the gloves are running urgently and I thought it was a real good gameplay so I wanted to include it on uh, just clips. So here on the red team we just started out and we are capping the middle point here. Um, staying pretty alone here the pirate is having trouble but um, after burn not really taking me out. Here the scout just picking him off he was overextending and they are trying to cap the point so I'm gonna get a little bit of chip damage you see people tend to 
um, move out of the way more with the Natasha because they're slowed and they are getting scared of getting caught out in the open because the snipers can easily track you once you're slowed by the Natasha. So here we have another heavy here and we are um, just brute forcing in the point just mowing our way and we are already halfway done capping the point and it does get capped now so they only get around 20 seconds on the point and we are already uh, half a minute half a minute away here the scout um, particularly these scouts um, in this gameplay you can really see um, a dealing with the scouts with the slowness and it's uh, helping you out a lot and especially also with the pyros as there are a lot of scouts and pyros in this gameplay so now we both have we have a scout demo man and a medic and another heavy on the point so it's gonna be held for quite a long time it's been held really solid I see this demo man is in need so I'm gonna just poke a, a few bullets at the pyro so he won't be able to follow him around that's really something where you can be a team player slowing down pyro that are chasing your uh, teammates so here see this spy here and easily track as I slow him down so I can get every single bullet in him and don't lose uh, track of him here scout he won't be able to get away um, especially because we have too many guns and I'm keeping him in here and the other heavy can just poke him full of bullets so already we have only a minute left on the clock and uh, until the victory and they are nowhere near able to push I'm just putting out the chip damage as I said just to keep them keep them uh, keep them knowing that I'm here I run out of ammo um, I tend to run out a lot of ammo with this minigun as it has lower damage output even though it's lower it has low damage output and that means I will be firing a lot more for people to die and therefore uh, I am gonna run out of ammo a lot of times this guy is pretty clever he's done to me for going in so I do get taken down but here the first round ends and we get the point and GG and I actually finished second on our team even though I do have the Natasha so that's kind of like displaying that Natasha is not a bad minigun it just gimmicky so we're gonna rush out here I'm using the gloves running urgently and running in the middle so that I won't take any uh, stray spam coming my way so I can keep them on me for a long time and get quickly on the point and we are already on their side of the point and holding it so this um, point looks like it's gonna be taking pretty easily also that we have two heavies on the point well to make that one because the scouts coming in slow him he can't get away engineer also taking away I'm taking a bit of sniper fire here just gonna eat my sandwich and look around the corner while I'm doing it that's one of the nice features of the sandwich and the point is capped and the timer goes thing and that means we can you know take a little bit of break and go away from the point because you shouldn't be standing on the point as demo men and soldiers have an easy time spamming down the point uh, you can put some pills and some rockets down there because they know that people will probably be standing on there that's why I'm standing out by this concrete block and also get a good view of the house um, from people from spawn will be caught off guard and I think I'm gonna be I'm going to stray a bit away from the point um, this is not really how you should play with the Natasha but um, I'm thinking that our team has okay so I'm just gonna see if I can pick off some stray players here I do get two engineers and a spender here and um, I'm just gonna turn this corner here and ban their sentry there and I'm out and also I'm blue so we get all the bands and see if I can turn this uh, around it does look like we're sinking but I spot the spy and the scout here right at our spawn overextending um, I give up on the scout, he's getting away. I do get the uh, spy. The scout comes back with the pan, but 
when you pull out the melee weapon against the Natasha, you're pretty much done. So this, the soldier here and the medic, luckily they'll leave me alone so I can go get the uh, health from the sandwich and the health pack. I'm gonna be back for them. So the only re the only way I can take these out are if I go by surprise and not with brute force. I'm gonna come behind. He's not ready for me. The medics runs away. He knows what's up, and the uh, soldiers down. Because if I, if I just rush right through, uh, the the um the soldier will have a lot of, just as much health as I will, and he has a medic on him. And I have the Natasha, so that's not really uh, a good fight in my not a fight in my favor. That's why you kind of have to play it semi sneaky, whereas the Tommy slot you have to play it quite sneaky, and you can because of the spin of sound. Also, the spin of sound, I think it's a little bit quieter. Uh, I don't know; it just feels you know nicer and quieter. And but I don't know how loud it's in the game for other people. As I said, not a lot of people use the Natasha. So here, the charge and charge demo doesn't get a lot of speed from this charge as he is slowed down. So it looks like we were doing okay. We got I got 40 seconds on the point from uh, capping it, and they have 53 seconds. So, and we are holding pretty good. There are people up on their spawn. The scout comes in. Oh, there's a spy there. So just gonna poke some bullets at him so he slowed down he comes in with a melee weapon and he does get me this time also because of the afterburn see so I'm gonna take the usual rollout or rollout not really with a heavy but the usual route I go with so we'll stay away from the site so I can come in um, and they don't know I'm coming here get the crits on the uh, soldier he pulls out the pan he's out and that's really how I like to play, special with the Natasha. You can be a little bit more sneaky. You have to be a little bit more sneaky because you're de low damage output, and you have to come behind people's backs. I spawn this spawn here. I save the engineer just by the, which is by the hair. Oh, and here comes the pyro over here. Pyro. He is taken down in mid here. Tries to run away, but he's probably stuck. Oh, and here comes the soldier. He does take down the engineer. He's going for me. Pulls out the melee weapon, and that's his doom with the Natasha. He's just stuck in the place. So, 40 seconds on the clock. We should be able to hold it, but here comes the pyro and takes me out. And they cap the point, and they only have 6, 45, 44. I think that's what it says. Could be 12. Oh, it's 10. No, 39. <laughs> it's hard to read on this monitor here. There we go. I jump in from behind. They don't notice me. Take out the, both the pyro and the soldier and the scout here. Low on health, so I'm gonna eat my sandwich. And here comes the medic. He pulls out the melee weapon, and you know what's gonna happen. So we do have the point here, we have 25 seconds and they have 15, so a very close game, we're just gonna see how it turns out here. The point as they don't want them to have any cap time on the point. Soldier jumps in, but I'm ready for him, and the scout and in, right in his doom with the Natasha. And here comes the pyro, get a lot of damage on him, but he is just by here gonna be alive. And we're in over 5 seconds, 4 seconds. I'm rushing to the point to see if I can just get my toe inside, but it's too late. I'm right. to miss it. So a very good game, very close game. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.